finally come and we are taking out the chimneys today so I'll just walk you through so you can see the before it basically looks like the moving house because we've emptied the house as much as we could This is one chimney that's coming out in the dining room. Well, if you want to do, and here it is. A table and everything's under there. Let's go into our living room. Here it is in all its glory. <laughs> the crazy paving chimney that was very retro and fashionable at one point. Um, sofas are under there, TV and everything under there. And I'll take you upstairs and you can see quickly they've already started. We tried to protect them on lock the new door. We have got a few not nice things, but here you go. So it's Monday morning and this is um, what was achieved in two days. I'll show you our dining room. Oh my goodness. So it makes a big difference to the room actually. Because you can see how far with the where the half comes out to, how far into the room that encroached. You know, so like really makes a big difference. But it was solid. So apart from where the black, obviously that black shape is, it was just a solid brick all the way to this forward part. So there's no cavity in there other than the chimney flue. And it was, oh, they really worked hard, bless them. And then we're now left with a lovely big hole, um, which obviously Steve's gonna sort out. I'll take you through, but the living room, Steve's tried to put some of the furniture back just to get an idea what it's gonna look like. Oh, this is the living room so now we've got so much more floor space than we had before because of the um sofa was sort of halfway into the room so now we have two flat walls one and two to actually put furniture against so uh yes yeah, so obviously still got the bay loads and loads and loads of sacks uh, i think steve said about 150 sacks of hardcore or brick and whatever and cement that's come out of that chimney and then obviously we've got this alcove still, that's part of the shape of the, the house, so we can't do anything about that one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a built-in unit there. And we've decided we might actually put um, a uh, sort of modern um, LED fire thing. They, they can look quite cool if you get good ones. So we're thinking of doing some sort of built-in with that. So we've got like a focus, like a focal point that's not just the TV. Although the TV will be there, we're going to paint that wall a dark colour so that that sort of media stuff sort of disappears a bit. And then we'll have some sh some floating shelves and some other bits and pieces that make it an attractive area. But yeah, that's the idea. That's our new idea. Um, Steve's going to take off this whole window shelf lintel thing here and replace it because um, in some places there's actually no overhang at all. So it's like almost flat up. And then other places is quite a lip, so it's I don't know if they've had an extra render done at some point. Um, Steve's cut that section off just because we needed to slide furniture into that hole, <laughs> and it wasn't staying anyway. So um, yeah, we're gonna that'll be another job. So we're gonna we're thinking now as well of redoing the electrics in this room. Uh, Steve's gonna plasterboard the these walls uh, that have got the chimneys. It'll be plasterboard across here. I'm going to over plaster the ceilings as well. Obviously, he's going to um, create um, 
some um, more would make the joist come out and join the other joist there and then obviously floorboards above on top of that and it would be yeah, some sort of way that he attached it to the wall I, I don't understand it but he understands it so that's fine <laughs> um, and then I'll take you upstairs so you can see the situation upstairs and it's not completely finished the steels are in but they need to be set in concrete which Steve needs to pour over the next few days and obviously we've got a hole in the floor but look at this room what a difference so there's the steels in and um, they're just propped at the moment um, but he will make see you can see that wood over there that's like a mold that they then he will then pour the concrete and it makes like it will mold all around the steel and fill that whole area then you allow it to go off for however long it is a few days I think and then you can take the mold the the wood piece away and then you've got it's it's bedded into the wall perfectly so I'm going to do that again on this side so see if has to make a mold on both sides for that one this wall is actually quite thin so what they've had to do is stagger the um, beams because the wall is actually not wide enough to take both beams like end to end it's actually very narrow if I go, you can see it's just one brick thickness that's not enough for them to do it so they've had to stagger them in height so this one, as you can see, we'll have, once we box that in, we do lose a little bit of ceiling height just there. But I mean, we'll just box that in and then come up to the ceiling, the rest of the ceiling. So it would just be um, a little white. You see it like a bit of look, you know, you see it in people's houses, a white beam boxed in. So that's what will be in that bedroom. But we can make a little feature of it. We might put some down lights or something on it. Um, so it'll be Imogen, it will eventually be Imogen's bedroom, uh, out of choice, she wants the smaller of the two children's bedrooms, but hey ho, they both wanted this bedroom, weirdly. Um, but she was talking about having some sort of, she wants sort of like, light colour of changing, because it's all the fashion, so we might be doing something like that for her, eventually. That, until this tank goes, which it will go, obviously, we can't really do too much in this room, obviously we'll have to make it safe, so Steve will have to do the same thing that he was saying before. Uh, extend the floor joist there and put some um, floorboards on and attach it to the wall somehow wherever he, he does it uh, he know he understands it all so that's fine and then this is the front bedroom let's see if I can turn the lights on yeah it's a bit dark in here uh, so this is the girls bedroom currently it's got loads of stuff obviously stacked up there but you can see Nice flat wall. So we've got two again, two flat walls, a flat wall there <laughs> and a flat wall there. So we would now, it just gives us so much more flexibility. Steve's already done the um, board too for the concrete there, but this side still needs to be done because um, you can see they've had to stagger it, stagger it there. Um, but it is a bit crazy. I'm going to show you this, if, you know, it looks a bit crazy when you lean in so you can see. If I lean up, you won't be able to see all the way up. The chimney's up there. I can't see daylight, but that's the chimneys up there. And then if we bring it down, you can see down to the living room, <laughs> which is a bit... So obviously we can't be back in the house until Steve's made it safe for the children. Obviously they can come up and use a loo. Um, and I'm just cleaning dust and so on. But they're going to do the same thing. I think we're going to overboard the ceiling in here and plasterboard this wall. And then we'll get someone to skim everywhere else. Um, and then to redo the electrics um, so that then we can decorate this and have this as a nice room. I mean, at the moment it's really not nice, but it'll be nice for the children. We'll actually have two fully decorated and nice rooms with new electrics. And um, yeah, it'll just be nice to have a couple of places to go. But um, our um, dressing room basically has got like loads of stuff in it. it did have all our mattresses in it but we've now moved our mattresses over here um stacked them in there but we we've been sleeping in the cabin so uh i'll show you the garden we've been sleeping down in the cabin we've got um air mattresses down there on the floor two doubles um we slept on the living room floor for on friday night because we need to make sure the beds are all down so the guys could start early on Saturday morning without being delayed by us and um, Saturday night and Sunday night we've slept in the beauty cabin um, on the floor so I've just pushed all my furniture to the side and then we just put the air mattresses up but um, with yeah four of us and a dog all in air mattresses <laughs> it's uh, an after busy dusty days 
Um, the guys worked incredibly hard. I mean, it was just, yeah, really, really, really hard work. Um, but they have done such a good job, you know. So, um, I mean, this room's going to be so nice when it's done. I mean, it's hard to see because we've got a mattress in here now, but it actually makes it a decent, much more decent size than it was before, especially once this tank goes. So, um, yeah, it's exciting. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, the bathroom's just still the same as it was, um, and it's still usable. Everything's dusty and dirty. I mean, I've cleaned the, this room because we put the mattresses back, um, but now I've got to go through and do every room. I mean, I don't know if you can see. Everything's basically, it doesn't really come out in this light, but everything is actually sort of salmon-coloured, <laughs> like a pink brick dust. So actually, not that black. So, yeah, you can see that the, the chimneys did have, obviously, black in them, actually not that bad i think because obviously they've been gas fires maybe for so long um a bit of black soot come out but not as much as you'd think i really thought there'd be a lot more black than there is and i'm grateful for it oh, yeah, i'll show you the window so as you can see this shows it a bit better how pink everything is can you see there's a light adjusted to show you the pinkness and everything so it's just like a layer of pink dust on everything so you know the whole yeah the whole house is just dirty dusty that's my job for the next 12 hours or so probably if not more just cleaning and cleaning and cleaning so that we get a lot of the dust sort of the, the main part of the dust up that people keep people saying it's going to be a long time before the dust is gone because it, it just keeps coming but anyway i'd just be glad to not be sleeping on the cabin floor again if i'm honest <laughs> all right bye